सेकेंड ऑक्साइड भी हैव दैट इज नाइट्रिक ऑक्साइड एन ओ इट्स ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट स्टेट इज प्लस टू ओके इट इज प्रिपेयर बाय इट इज प्रिपेयर बाय द डायरेक्ट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नाइट इलेक्ट्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन इन इलेक्ट्रिक आर्क डायरेक्ट कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन इन इलेक्ट्रिक आर्क इलेक्ट्रिक आर्क Why we use? Because we know this N two and O two does not combine at room temperature. If you remember, it requires very high temperature in the order of three thousand degrees Celsius. Okay, and that electric R will you know produce a very high temperature over there, high heat over there. So that is why it requires. Okay, so it forms two N O electric R. Basically, whenever you see this electric R, it means high temperature we need for this reaction. and for that high temperature we are using this electric arc okay this is one method another one is it is also prepared by the oxidation of ammonia with platinum catalyst oxidation of ammonia with platinum catalyst the reaction is 4 nh3 with reaction with 4 nh3 with 5 o2 with platinum catalyst and when you heat this around 750 degrees celsius you get no nitric oxide plus h2 this is the reaction we have now this reaction or this method we call it as ostwald process post walls process properties colorless slightly heavier than air then air but soluble in in water if you count the number of electrons for no it is an odd electron it is an odd electron molecule 8 plus 7 15 okay no odd electron molecule hence it is paramagnetic in nature the structure of no if you see we have n double bond o oxygen has two lone pair nitrogen has one lone pair and one electron Okay. One note you write down into this: in liquid and solid form, in liquid and solid form, nitrogen has sorry, uh, nitric oxide (NO). In liquid and solid form, nitric oxide (NO). has tendency to form a dimer that is n2o2 has tendency to form a dimer that is n2o2 and and becomes diamagnetic and becomes diamagnetic
okay next molecule we have nitric acid hno3 nitric acid write down in laboratory it is prepared by in laboratory it is prepared by heating a mixture of alkali nitrate alkali nitrate with concentrated h2so4 alkali nitrate with concentrated h2so4 this converts into khso4 plus hno3 laboratory method of preparation for large scale production we use the method and the name is is postwalds process write down in this reaction we have already done it for the preparation of nitric oxide no in this reaction what happens ammonia is getting oxidized in presence of platinum right ammonia is getting oxidized so reaction if i write down nh3 plus 5o2 in presence of platinum around 750 degrees celsius temperature 6 atmospheric pressure we use it gives you nitric oxide no plus h2o and energy comes out into this okay delta h exothermic reaction this nitric oxide is further oxid oxidized by o2 and it gives you nitrogen dioxide no2 i am not writing down the balanced reaction okay i'm just giving you the product okay no further get oxidized by oxygen because we have excess of oxygen here converts this into nitrogen dioxide now this nitrogen dioxide is dissolved in water and it gives you hno3 plus as nitric oxide okay nitric oxide so this is the preparation method we have ostwald process okay we get this and then it oxidizes and then reacts with water property is colorless liquid colorless liquid and gives a pungent smell pungent smell very strong oxidizing agent strong oxidizing agent it reacts with most of the metals except the noble metals except the noble metals this this reaction is very important for this you see the two reaction i'm writing it down copper reacts with hno3 it gives three molecules of cuno3 whole twice plus we'll get nitric oxide plus we'll get h2 another reaction is when this copper reacts with hno3 it gives again cu no3 whole twice plus no2 plus h2 this is the product we get two different oxides we are getting one is nitric oxide and other one is nitrogen dioxide now why these reactions are important because we get nitric oxide when the acid is diluted okay nitrogen dioxide will get when it is concentrated so this question they have asked many times in the exam even this particular 
reaction there was in neat exam directly okay so you must know what is the product we get with concentrated acid and dilute acid okay similarly one more reaction we have i'll write down here this is also very important zinc reacts with hno3 gives 4 zn no3 hold twice plus h2o plus n2o and another reaction is zn plus 4 hn o3 it gives zn no3 hold twice plus h2o plus 2 no2 so here we are getting dinitrogen oxide here we are getting nitrogen dioxide okay this is possible when this acid is diluted and this acid is concentrated so you must must remember this reaction with dilute dilute acid what gas you are getting and with concentrated what gas you are getting important thing is this only they'll give you options with this oxides only nitrogen oxides okay next point note you write down next point write down metals like chromium and aluminium metals like chromium and aluminium forms chromium and aluminium forms a passive film or layer of oxide passive film or layer of oxides hence does not dissolve in concentrated hno3 this is also important does not dissolve in concentrated hno3 concept next line another point concentrated hno3 also oxidizes also oxidizes some of the non metals like carbon phosphorus sulfur iodine some of the non metals like carbon phosphorus sulfur iodine c plus hno3 concentrated it gives carbonic acid h2co3 plus nitrogen dioxide plus water this is carbonic acid when phosphorus reacts with concentrated hno3 this gives h3po4 plus nitrogen dioxide plus h2 okay this is the two reactions we have must remember now what what is the structure of hno3 the last point for today the structure of hno3 hno3 the structure is n double bond o single bond o and oh this is the structure we have okay n double bond o o and h so this hydrogen is the acidic hydrogen yes acidic hydrogen and since only one acidic hydrogen we have so this is mono basic acid this is a mono basic acid it can release only one h plus into the solution 
it is a planar molecule write down it is a planar molecule okay so here this bond you see this bond is a coordinate bond actually this bond is a coordinate bond you must remember one thing for the elements belongs to the second period okay belongs to the second period the coordinate bond can be represented by this a single bond or an arrow like this both are same thing but for third period element like we have discussed in phosphorus oxides for the elements of third period the coordinate bond is defined by either a double bond or an arrow like this okay so this is a coordinate bond we have n coordinate bond with o that's why we do not have any lone pair on this nitrogen okay so this is the structure of hn so we have done this few things are left in this chapter that is phosphorus okay some compounds of phosphorus and then we'll finish this okay so we'll do it next class we'll wind up the class here okay so we'll let you know regarding the next class whenever we have okay so no, wind out not sure ha huh. just a second ha huh. so uh, in wait hello no it is a lone pair in the oxygen you can draw the resonating structure here this uh oxygen we have here no lone pair so you can draw the resonating structure that's not a big deal Okay. Huh? Any doubt? Tell me. Uh, yes, sir. Um, you had said that in uh, uh, what is it? for uh, nitrous oxide, it can be contaminated by NO, NH3, and H2O vapors, right? Yeah. Yeah. So to remove ammonia and and uh, water vapor, what do we use? Ammonia and water vapor. If you have any acidic compound, you can use. Okay. Like the molecule which can produce H plus. Okay. so that you can use to remove ammonia and all whatever okay okay got it okay yes sir anything is there okay so we'll wind up the class guys like for these chapters again i am telling you ncert you must read line by line okay don't leave ncert for problem solving you can refer any other book but ncert each and every line you should know okay चलो विल वाइंड अप द क्लास हियर टेक केयर थैंक यू थैंक यू सर